muchos de mí, voy a decir, discurso y dice que es perfecto, ¿right? So, ¿cuáles son los videos? Bueno, this is a part 2 of my original video, talking about these quote unquote CD solar panels. But last time I cheated because I used LEDs and that may have not been very well representative of what this really is. So today I want to correct it and I want to test this real version of it. So let's get started. I already made a part one, or at least I didn't really name it part one, but I already covered the CD. Last time though, I didn't really make this contraption. I only told you that LEDs are the power, the source of power, and the reason why some of them, so at least some of the videos, are actually real, but not the way you actually thought. So I tested if you could use LEDs to produce energy, which is actually real. But the point was to debunk this. A solar panel made from a CD, which is just a CD and a copper wire. So I decided, hey, I want to actually debunk the real thing and not will take other shortcuts. So we're going to talk about this specific one. I already have prepared a incandescent 200 watt light bulb, which will be the source if I'm going to test it against a real solar panel. We're going to see if this even outputs any voltage for that matter. And I can promise you, it's still going to be disappointing. So anyway, what don't we get? Let's go to my okay. setup. It is time to actually test. So let me actually show you the CD close up. Now we can see that I have just put the wire in through the middle and have done these windings around. Although they are not very often, I have put them and we have here the side that has no text like this one. So we're going to test on this side as some have apparently suggested. Now how are we going to test if this actually outputs any voltage? Of course I'm going to use a multimeter, this alligator clips wire and for our artificial sun we're just going to use a 200 watt incandescent light bulb. So let's actually get going. The first test we're going to do is a continuity test. The multimeter works. And now I hook the multimeter to the CD up and we're going to test the continuity just to show you that it is actually connected and there's no gap in the wire. Yeah? It is definitely just a wire. Okay, now that we are everything hooked up to, I set it to the voltage and I set it to 200 millivolts. This way we're going to detect insignificant voltage if there is any voltage. So I'm going just to plug in the sun. And you can see how it just outshines my studio light. So, and as you can see disappointingly, or surprisingly, there is no voltage. I wonder why though. Nothing to do with the fact that a copper wire on ST does absolutely nothing. You can really see nothing, no voltage, not even millivolts, which is a pretty sensible range. So, nothing. So. This CD solar panel really is trash, dislike for that. But you know what? Let's actually test a real solar panel, shall we? And now I'm going to connect the solar panel. I also set it by the way to 20 volts DC simply because it outpowers the and overloads the 2 volts. You can see that we get 3.23 volts. That just with my studio light is actually pretty cool. Let's see how much we can get with my little sun. 5.1 volts. And if I get it pretty close, we even have 6 volts. That is actually pretty good. I don't know how efficient it is, but hey, we actually have some voltage, unlike our CD solar panel. And in fact, only this light around that I have of the studio can actually power a little LED. That is really cool. And if I shine the light bulb, although it is being outshined, it actually is even brighter. So yeah, I would say that this is pretty cool and I may also be burning it. 
So, this, this actually works. This is fake. This doesn't work. Out of here. So, this is a real solar panel, and this will actually give you voltage. The CD stuff is total garbage. It does not work, as you just saw my little demonstration. Okay, so as you saw, all the tests say this is literally just a wire on a CD. That's, that's it. It cannot produce any voltage. And I have seen some videos and some comments that I say, oh, you did that wrong or did that wrong on some other videos, also debunking. It doesn't matter, literally. What is being presented to you is almost trash because it's literally a CD that may already even be empty, so we don't destroy data, and just a piece of far glued to it. And I've even seen more configurations. What? So, whatever. This is fake. Don't cut your wires to make this and definitely don't spend maybe a CD that actually has valuable information on it as images or videos. It is trash and I can guarantee you, you're not missing on anything out of this one. So yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you in the next video. I'm Photonic Luminescence. Goodbye.